Today, I am going to be praying a reminder prayer for you that you win over any curses in your life, whether it's generational curses or if someone has cursed you with their words, their actions, their deeds against you. And even if someone has tried to curse you in the spirit realm through witchcraft and any type of demonic activity, they lost. All week long, our focus is dominating and it's called Dominion Week. We as believers have dominion here on the earth. And that's because of our memory verse for this week, which is one of my favorites. Luke ten nineteen, which says, Behold, I have given you authority to trample, hallelujah, on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing by any means shall hurt you. And oftentimes we as believers, we walk through life forgetting that. So all I want you to do is come into agreement with me that any curse that's been over you is broken today. Hit that thumbs up button. Type amen underneath this prayer to show me your agreement. And if you know someone who is struggling, believing they might be cursed because life keeps getting all messed up for them, send them this prayer. This is a power prayer today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just come to you, Lord Jesus, submitting ourselves to you. The Bible clearly says, submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. And so we're taking a stand to resist him right now. We thank you right now, Lord Jesus, that we come before you boldly declaring all curses, whether generational or current, are broken by the blood of Jesus. We're coming right now declaring that all curses that's been spoken over us by family members, by friends, by bosses, by ex-co-workers, we rebuke every single curse that has existed or tried to exist in our lives. We resist any temptation from the enemy right now. We plead the blood right now over every area of our lives. And we say we are free. The Bible says we have been set free. Therefore, we are free indeed. The Bible also tells us it is for freedom that Christ set us free. Stand firm and don't be burdened by the yoke of slavery. And so we bind and rebuke every curse of the devil in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now that according to Luke 10, 19, you've given us all authority, all power to tread on serpents and scorpions and nothing by any means shall harm us. We break every curse of financial lack right now. We break every curse of that has been passed down from generational to generation. We break every curse of sickness, every curse of disease, everything in our bodies that will try to keep us from living in the abundant life. We break the curse of obesity right now. And we thank you right now, Lord, that we walk in the fullness, the abundant, the whole life that you died for us to have. And we say the devil is a liar. We're not subject to demonic activity. We're not subject to our past as we declare we win over curses because you won for us. Thank you for the blood that was shed for us at Calvary. Thank you that you didn't just lay in that tomb, but Jesus rose three days later. And when he rose, that meant that we can stand in the authority of Jesus Christ. Thank you right now. We're not going to walk around with our heads down, believing the lie of the enemy. We are free of every curse, every stronghold right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the anointed one and, and his anointing that we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. I sense the Holy Ghost right now. And you type amen. You type prayer emojis. You type it right now. Because for some of you, for some of you, you've been operating in a cursed 
life because of words that's been spoken over you. Words like, I bet you'll probably never be anything. You always mess up. But what about the words you speak to yourself? Help me, Holy Spirit. Stop speaking cursed words over yourself. Stop saying things about yourself. Stop giving the enemy the, the, the key to hurt you. He's a liar. He's defeated. And anything associated with darkness has no no interaction, no dominion over light. And the light of Christ is in you. So stop acting like you're in darkness. Stop acting and operating and living beneath who you are in Christ Jesus. You are strong. You are powerful. You are prayerful. You are a winner. You are an achiever. You are a survivor. And you are not cursed. And you tell the devil that. And you walk it out, your freedom every single day. Receive that right now. I love you all dearly. And I am so, so fired up. And I am so, so grateful that you joined me today. I will be praying for y'all throughout the day. And I'll be on right after this prayer post so I can just pray for you. Uh, I love y'all very, very much. Uh, and if you're free tonight, I'm going to be uh, sharing on a Zoom Um I can't remember the name of the church. I'll just put the Zoom link below. I think it's at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And I'm talking about authority tonight um, when I speak for this church for their Tuesday night. And if you want to join me, just jump on that Zoom. All righty. The link is below. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.